Hello everyone, uh, today I wanted to show you, uh, I'm going to assemble the uh, sliding mechanism for the x-axis down there Let me for the x-axis and then I'll mount to the z-axis uh, uh, it's not going to be uh, it's going to be temporary uh, because I need to uh, square and fix some stuff um, and also I need to uh, fix uh, put these brackets uh, here uh, on top of here like I showed on the last video so that this doesn't uh, flex at all uh, so I assemble part of the uh, the sliding mechanism here let me put you down here okay great and this is the uh, top part has uh, steel uh, wheels and then there will be wheels on on the bottom and then this is going to be uh, right there let me show you uh, let me put, okay and this is going to be sliding like this okay uh, of course it needs to be straight uh, but the cool part is that this plate is basically the same as this plate for the z-axis and there are some screws here that I can just screw and uh, plate to plate so that um, I minimize the space uh, that the extruder block and the z-axis takes away and it's going to be a perfect fit hopefully let me move it move it here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh, screw it and then I'll show you how it's going to be the z-axis so this is the sliding mechanism and this just goes like this and then you just uh, screw it in. Uh, let me see where is the Allen wrench. Um, let me find uh, Allen wrench for for this job here. Found it. And okay. Second screw, and then we'll do the other ones. Actually, this other wrench is not enough, it's too small. Let me get the other one. Hopefully, the battery stays on. And I just wanted to temporarily screw it in. So that I can show uh, yeah let's do this and that's it so this plate is screws inside uh, on top of this and um, that's it. So this guy now, let me move you a bit back because otherwise you can't show mm, here. Let me put you down here. Okay. So this Z axis will be like this. Okay. Of course, um, the motor will be the motor will be on top. Let me show you. The motor will be on top of here, and it will drive the, this entire Z axis down. Okay, so it will do this. I'm going to yeah. The, the screw is much 
uh, it's going to be like this and it's, it's going back and back and forth okay so this x-axis and this is the axis so the two palettes through there will be attached to this guy probably down here and and the entire block will go up and down with one motor uh, mounted on top of on top of it so there will be one motor up here that will drive the entire z-axis there will be probably one or two motors here and down there for the z-axis I have to decide if two because this is going to be pretty heavy uh, it's going to have it's going to have the dual pallet extruder um, and then the y-axis is going to have two motors because I have to move everything and I'm using uh, NEMA 56 if I remember correctly sometimes I don't I don't uh, use it anyway so this is the mounting let me move you a bit back okay yeah so that's the the part that I wanted to grind so it's very easy to remove the entire block if I need to I'm going to do a similar thing for the extruder here so that if I need to uh, maintain the extruder or do any changes I can do very easily these are just four screw on, on the back here and yeah I like the, this design it's very easy to uh, maintain uh, the pallet extruder is going to be a bit different because uh, pallets um, they're going to be an issue anyway let me get the extruder one of the extruders so I, I'm going to show you So this is the, the pallet extruder here, let me show you. So this one goes inside here, okay, and like that. And uh, this is the drill bit, and this is the extruder uh, chamber. It's going to have, uh, um, it's going to have uh, induction heating. I'm going to show I'm going to make a video about that because it's very uh, unique. Let's say um, it's going to have uh, probably one or two millimeter, one one and a half or two millimeter um, uh, what's the name? I forgot. Damn it. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, and so this is going to be mounted uh, like this right there so there will be two of course they are not going to mount, be mounted like that but and there will be uh, two motors on top of it of course the drill bit uh, like that okay it's going to be all, all the way inside uh, two motors one each and then there'll be, of course, some uh, mounting brackets, and then the pallet uh, 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 tube to put the pallet inside the tube. Um, that's it. So um, let me move, move this guy away from here. Anyway, so. This is the z-axis. Somebody uh, asked me uh, because they didn't understand how I was uh, using the z-axis this way. This is usually what is used for uh, CNC machine. They have uh, basically the entire, and this was the expression, the entire uh, 
x and z axis move to left and right and the z axis is only one and usually they have the drill bit here with the drill and they move left and right and then they go up and down okay like this only one instead of moving the entire axis the entire x-axis up and down will move only this with one motor which is uh, much better uh, simpler to manage and stuff and then um, yeah that's it for today uh, probably next video I'm going to show you all the electronics I wanted to lay it down so that I can see if I'm missing something or if it makes sense or if anybody has some suggestions uh, which are always welcome and um, I need to finish uh, down here the with the wheels and stuff um, here I'm using a steel wheel I have rubber wheels still here in this case uh, where are you okay and uh, I can use some of this and I'll put it on on the back it down here so that this goes stay straight okay on top of one uh, I used steel and on the bottom one I'm going to use uh, rubber probably yeah that's it so please uh, leave a, a like uh, subscribe to the channel share it and uh, if you have any comments uh, uh, please do and I'll see you next video bye bye